Bull Strong. Inside USF Football is brought to you by Wendy's. October was a month of travel for the Bulls as they played their third conference road game in four weeks, traveling to Greenville for a game against East Carolina. It's a place where they have never lost, and they also knew it would be their last regular season game outside the state of Florida. We said we're gonna be aggressive, we're gonna be physical, nothing else to talk about. Yes, Let's go get the job done. Yes, we ain't no yeah, shot, yeah. shot. We you know, This is a game today that you gotta get going, get that running game going early with Crockwright. A prophetic statement indeed. The Bulls' running game would be a dominant factor, but before they could showcase it, they found themselves down a touchdown. And it's going to be Tyler Sneed on the return for the Pirates. He's got it. Touchdown. Opening kickoff for six. And now USF going to start in a 7 nothing hole just 15 seconds in from their own 25-yard line. The Bulls had an immediate response. The opening kick return seemed to energize more than demoralize and they produced an impressive 10-play equalizing drive. McLeod, they thought about trying to sling it out, but he cannot. It takes off, and it's going to get the penalty yardage back and more. A precisely choreographed mix of pass and run had the Bulls sniffing the end zone. Cockright, first down, USF, and he's going to set up a first and goal from the five. Taken down by Jalen Price. What a run by the former Florida Gator. Crockwright, and he's got it. Touchdown, USF. And they respond, taking it 75 yards for the score. Hoisting their own colors, the Bulls' defense continued their mastery at disrupting things behind the line of scrimmage. He is ripped down on the spot by Kirk Livingstone. Pass to the outside, and USF ready for it, man. What a play as Tower Steve made the catch with Mike Hampton was right on the spot. Another benchmark of Charlie Strong's defense is forcing turnovers. His Bulls have a nose for the ball. Well, and this is what South Florida does, right? 19th takeaway of the season. It's unbelievable. And they forced a turnover in every single game this year, and we're in game number eight. So here we go. They're back on offense. And breaking through right up the middle. Look out. To midfield, Cronkwright, and a flag comes in at the end. The call against East Carolina, and in one play, the Bulls move from their own 11 to the Pirates' 35. Cloud over the middle, he's gonna wind up for Jacob Mathis, the tight end, touchdown. 21 yard strike. The Bulls had their first lead, and it would hold up as the accelerator remained pressed. It's a little flip out to him, and he is undercut and taken down by K.J. Sales. Quarterback injuries have forced the Bulls to adjust. Blake Barnett had ankle surgery. Jordan McLeod has gutted his way through some injuries as well. And Jacquez Evans got an opportunity to take some Wildcat snaps. He takes it into ECU territory inside the 30-yard line. That drive stalled but showed the versatility of an offense led up front by a line that returned all five starters paving the way for 248 first-half rushing yards. Keep it going, Nick Roberts. That, combined with a smothering defense, tilted the game toward USF. Third down, Ellers. Ball is tipped, and it's an intercepted. It was ruled a trap, but it didn't matter. On both sides of the ball, South Florida had found their sea legs and took the game away from the Pirates. A cloud from the gun here. Caught on a slant by Randall St. Felix. He's one where the coaches challenged him this week. said, you need to step up and start making plays. You're too good of a player. Yeah, McLeod to the end zone. Up in the air. It's Randall St. Felix holding it in for the touchdown. What a grab. The early kick return touchdown by East Carolina seemed like ancient history. The Bulls' defense was dominating, second in the nation in takeaways, and they added to the list. Second down and 14. Taylor's pass is intercepted. Greg Reeves, he's got a chance to take it to the house. And he's going to be hit still on his feet. It's going to be Ehlers that has to finally bring him down. Greg Reeves with the interception. Evans returned to quarterback and showed he could do more than just run. Going to keep Evans in a quarterback, a third down. It's a keeper. He's got the first. He's off to the races. Evans, touchdown, USF. But he ran well, picking up 99 yards on just six carries. 
the Bulls would score touchdowns on five of their seven first half possessions. Kirk Rigel became the third quarterback of the day. They fake it to the wideout. It's Clark Wright, and he's in for the touchdown. By halftime, the Bulls enjoyed a 35-10 lead, and they were on their way to a season high in rushing yardage. Cronkwright, nice job to find the hole. Look at the shift he moves, Cronkwright. For the third time in four games, Cronkwright went over 100 yards as Kerwin Bell's offense produced a season high 525 total yards. Kirk Rigel's pass to Terrence Horn finished the scoring. That's a touchdown grab by Terrence Horn. The running of the Bulls at East Carolina made their record under Charlie Strong 18 and 1 when they outrushed the opposition. I told you to meet me in the end zone. With four wins in their last six games, the Bulls head into a well-deserved bye week.